Welcome to the Arm Care app and the future of arm care. In this video, we'll give you a quick tour of the app and point out some key features that will help you along the way. Let's start with the three key metrics on the home screen, strength, fatigue, and recovery. And all players know the importance of strength, fatigue, and recovery on performance and health, but now you can actually track and measure this data. Because strength matters most, well, let's start there. The arm score is your overall arm strength factored in for your size and weight combines the strength of your entire arm into one easy to understand score. The higher the number, the stronger and healthier you are. The goal for arm score is to be over 70. Now below the arm score, you will see three buttons that provide more details on a player's strength profile. They are SVR, which stands for strength velocity ratio, arm strength, and shoulder balance. The strength velocity ratio, or SVR, shows the relationship between your arm strength and max throwing velocity. Research shows that increases in velocity also increase stress on the elbow. To protect the arm from injury, you have to be gaining strength as you increase velocity, and the strength velocity ratio will help keep you on track. If your SVR is below 1.6, our training programs will focus on raising total arm strength. If you're above 1.6, then you may be eligible for velocity enhancement training. Next is arm strength. Arm strength breaks down your arm score into its components. By breaking it down, you can see where to focus your strength gains. Your arm strength scores are shown as relative strength, which takes the strength for a specific test, measured in pounds, and divides it by a player's body weight. Relative strength is important for health. As the body grows, throwing arm strength must also increase to improve resistance to strains and sprains. Optimal relative strength for internal and external rotation is 20% of your body weight, while scaption and grip strength should be at least 15% of your body weight. If you're low in these values, there will be yellow or magenta colored box around the value, and the app will automatically trigger exercise prescriptions to make improvements. The last strength metric is shoulder balance. Now, have you ever heard the phrase, your ability to accelerate your arm is limited by your ability to decelerate your arm? This is what shoulder balance score is all about. Shoulder balance compares the strength of your accelerators, which are your internal rotators, to the strength of your decelerators, which are your external rotators. The optimal range for shoulder balance is between 0.85 and 1.05, with the ultimate goal being 1.0, which means your accelerators and decelerators are equal in strength. If your ratio is below 0.85, your decelerators are weak compared to your accelerators. If your ratio is above 1.05, it means your accelerators are weak compared to your decelerators. The wider the strength gap between the shoulder accelerators and decelerators, the higher the risk of injury. Now let's move over to fatigue, which is the second key metric. Research has shown that pitching while fatigue increases injury risk by 36 times. So we created the fatigue metric to help you avoid it. Players fatigue at different rates, and until now, coaches couldn't quantify how fatiguing a pitching or throwing session was, but now they can. The fatigue score compares a player's strength before an outing to their strength afterward. They do this by taking a post-exam immediately following their throwing session. The fatigue scores are shown as a percentage of strength retained. This paints a picture of how a player's arm responded to a specific throwing load. In this case, the pitcher retained 88% of his strength after throwing 75 pitches in a game. The goal is to retain more than 90% of your strength. If you're below 90%, you can make adjustments to your workloads for future outings and training. The last key metric is recovery. While arm fatigue measures the effect of a single outing or bullpen, recovery takes a holistic approach to measuring arm health by monitoring strength changes week over week. The recovery score shows the difference between your most recent fresh exam versus your average. If your recovery score is a positive number, it means you are gaining strength and you're recovering well. If the recovery score is a negative number, now in this case, negative 10.7, you are showing signs that your recovery is less than optimal. Changes to sleep and nutrition, as well as reducing pitch counts or pushing bullpens back, may be needed in short term to help improve recovery. On the top right corner, you will see the calendar icon bouncing when you first log into the app. This is the daily check-in. Please complete this quick wellness survey every day, whether you're throwing or not. 
It asks three questions on a scale of one to 10. How does your arm feel? How does your body feel? And how well did you sleep? Please be honest as this will customize your arm care to help you feel better. On the top left corner, you will find the hamburger menu. Let me quickly show you important features in this menu section. Select your name to add a picture or change your email address. Then on the far left, you will see a circle with a plus. This is how you can add a second or third player to your app. Simply use the login for another account and you can toggle from one player to another. This is a great feature for parents who may have several kids using the Arm Care app. And on top, you will find teams and organizations. This is where you can search and join a team or organization, which will allow them to see your test results. Below that, you will see red report pain icon. If you experience any arm pain while throwing or during an exam, please stop and seek medical attention. Never throw through pain. If you do experience pain or have an injury, please answer all of the questions in this section. Below report pane, you will find player info and player measurements, where you can edit your position, playing level, season, height, and weight. And finally, the how-to video sections contain in-depth videos that will help you get the most out of the app and your training. Moving over to the exam section of the app, if you have never taken an exam before, you need to watch the entire exam training video. It covers everything you need to know to complete the exams correctly. You will see three buttons that say fresh exam, post exam, and arm primer. These are the three exams offered in the app, and there is a time and a place for each one. The app will prompt you to pair the active force sensor to your phone during the testing process, so you don't need to search for it like a Bluetooth speaker or headphones. The app will ask you during the exam to complete this process. Make sure you have given the Arm Care app permission to use Bluetooth on your phone. If you are unable to pair the active force, go to your phone settings, select the Arm Care app, and then enable Bluetooth. The fresh exam should be taken at least once a week and it helps to identify strength deficits and imbalances, which can lead to arm injuries and poor performance. The fresh exam is done when you're in a fresh state, which means you feel recovered. You want to make sure you did not do any heavy upper body lifting within the 24 hours prior or had an outing or heavy throwing session the prior day. The fresh exam should be taken prior to throwing, but after you complete a proper warm up. For pitchers, you will typically do your fresh exam on your bullpen day prior to any throwing, but after you warm up. For position players, choose a day of the week, like a Monday, and test on that day throughout the year. The post exam, should be taken immediately after pitching, a bullpen, or a heavy throwing session like a velo day. Ideally, the post exam is taken within 30 minutes of your last throw so you don't have to warm up again. The post exam provides the data for the fatigue metric, which shows how your arm responded to the workload you just completed. The arm primer is an optional exam that can be completed daily following your arm activation routine. It provides insights on arm readiness score, which you can use and your coaches can help fine tune your workload that day. And when you're strong, you can up the intensity, but when you're weak, then you can back it off. The bottom button is the strength tester. This feature is primarily used by medical and strength professionals, but allows you to use the active force strength dynamometer to test strength of any area of the body. The three second strength test begins when the dynamometer registers five pounds of force. Moving over to the analytics screen, you will see graphs for each of the three exams. To see the details of an individual exam, simply click on the circle and your exam results will pop up. In addition to the data shown in the analytics section, players will automatically be emailed a PDF report of the exam results. Moving on to the training section. If you've not completed your daily check-in, the app will prompt you to do so. The daily check-in will help customize your arm care for that day. For example, if you say that the back side of your shoulder is sore or tight, then the app will deliver custom stretches and exercises to address the posterior shoulder in real time. After completing your daily check-in, select Begin Your Arm Care. This will take you to your arm care prep, also known as your warm-up. The prep should be used before throwing every day, as well as before strength training. If you selected that your arm was sore or tight, 
or if your range of motion was restricted in your latest exam, you will see a section called custom prep. Custom prep includes stretches and exercises that will help improve your movement quality before activating your muscles with the shoulder and hip and core activation programs. When selecting a program, you will see the exercise, number of sets, reps, and the recommended resistance based on your test results. If you have not taken an exam, your resistance will be based on your age. To change the resistance, select the up or down arrow next to the recommended resistance. Now you can see video instructions for each exercise by selecting the play video icon. When you have completed all of the exercises in the program, select the complete button at the bottom of the page. A blue check will appear and then progress to the next program. When you have completed all of the programs in the prep section, a blue button will appear that says get custom arm care. Listen, this is important. Select this button after you are done throwing for that day or if you're using this during your strength training program. These programs should not be performed before you throw. When you select the Get Custom Arm Care button, you will be asked a few questions to evaluate your throwing workload and whether you will have a heavy throwing workload tomorrow. This will determine if your arm care will be strength or recovery based. Select Save and you'll receive your arm care program for today. Remember to select Complete when you are done with all of the exercises. I hope this video helped you. Best of luck this season and remember that velocity starts with a healthy arm. So use this app as a tool to keep your arm feeling fresh and strong all season.